Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Mario Maker 2. So today I'm going to be playing some courses made by other people. Now the goal of this video is to play more than one, but seeing as how this is a puzzle solving course and I'm not really good at those, I am probably not going to end up doing that. So the course ID is on the screen and I guess let's just get on with it, right? Okay, back up Buttercup. So the first thing we got is a red coin. Now, apparently this is a, I guess, troll. Kind of a troll course, I have no idea. But we got a shell, and there's a thing there. So, okay, so we can kick the shell through that. Okay, so that's good. That that part is good. I like that. I didn't even know. Like, I didn't see <laughs> that there was a hole there. So, good job for the Koopa, I guess. So, let's see what's up. We got some coins. We got another coin here. Okay, let's see this mechanism now. So we hit an off switch. This Koopa's coming out of a cannon, which seems cool. So I gotta get used to what themes can and can't grab, because certain themes, as you may know, can't actually grab shells, like the uh, the NES style can't actually grab, well, you know what I mean, the, the original one can't actually grab stuff. Got a P-switch. Just take that. And, <laughs> dead. God dang it, I knew that was going to happen. So we got a P-switch. I have no idea what that was meant to be for. But yeah, let's just uh, quickly do this again. Because this is a rather... I almost died. <laughs> but this is rather short. So if this does utilize any tricks in whatever that Mario Maker has to offer, that's probably already going to be like a... I'm not going to be able to do this kind of thing, because I'm generally... Oh, there's another thing here. I didn't even see this. Okay, so we got this, which seems to be... Hmm. I do know that you can actually stand in these when they're closed. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. That's a one way, so I don't know if I want to go through that. Uh, hmm. What happens if we hit this again? Let's uh, grab a shell. Well, and lose it. Hmm, so I don't know if I want to have that triggered. Let's actually go through this. Actually, um, he might want a shell. There's a lot of Koopas here, but uh, he might want a shell. Because we might have to do that. That was bad, apparently. Let's do this. Guess we'll follow it. And that leads to... Okay, there's the spike room. Okay, I was going to say, does that require like a shell jump or something like that? Probably not. Okay, there's a Galoomba. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why I'm holding the shell, by the way. I don't need to. Actually, I can crouch. Yeah, I think crouching actually helps a lot. Keep forgetting that Small Mario can actually crouch in this game. I think that's, uh... I think only in Mario Maker 2 you can actually do that. Oh, that's a one-way. Oh, yeah, I, okay, so I just realized that I screwed myself, so I gotta actually restart, so I will be right back. So, uh, it actually seems as though the cannon is here this time. I don't know why that... Why is the cannon here? The cannon wasn't there last time, I don't think it was anyway. Because if we go through this door, and uh, I'm actually going to hit the P-switch. I don't think this will do anything, but let's just see. Okay, yeah, that's just immediate death. Okay, so, uh, so I'm back. I have no idea what I did to actually kill this muncher. Because uh, last time, well, the other time, it was just dead. So is the POW block supposed to kill him and it's not killing him, or is it like, <laughs> am I just doing something really wrong? Let me actually take the shell back. Is that what we need to do? Well, okay. Uh, does not seem likely. So uh, I actually just realized that uh, you can actually see the muncher. Like, let me let me do this one more time. So if we stand here, the muncher is actually in view. So okay, yeah, that kills the muncher. So I'm. So apparently I didn't even notice that the first time, so that's, uh, I guess that's part of the puzzle, right? And I, I just conveniently happened to do it the first time, so there we go. Okay, so I tried this level for about 10 minutes, and I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I might, I may as well be missing, like, a very, very simple thing that you can do. But like I said, I don't know any tricks or anything with Mario Maker, I just play... I guess I just play casually for whatever that means. So 
I guess I'm just gonna go on to the next level. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to beat it. Whoever did send me the level, I guess you can tell me how to beat it or whatever. Maybe I'll go back and do it. But I did like the level, so I guess there is that, right? So I have a series of levels given to me by Mage. They're not by him, but there's about five levels. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do all of them, but maybe I'll do two of them. So let's get in. So puzzle solving's short and sweet. You guys already know how I do with puzzle solving, so this might not even be that well. Does have more completes though, so <laughs> guess that's a thing, right? So how did that get there? Kind of makes me think that I'm supposed to do something that's not... Hmm, wait. That said something about it being patched. Is that not possible? I'm stuck. Uh, how do I read that? How do you read specific uh, things? Oh, these, right? Something said something about being patched. I don't know how to read specific messages. Okay, so, uh, use a glitch. I can't get the glitch, I can't get the message to stay on the screen. Okay, so apparently it's patched, but let's see. So, you do this, right? So now I'm stuck, and the spring's over there. And I do that, and now the spring's gone. Okay, so I, I found out the, the, uh, the comments are actually scrolling as I'm standing here, so it's just that. So, there was a comment saying... Yeah, there's comments like that, so spring and then off. So I'm gonna see if I can actually get this correctly. It does seem like a short and sweet level, but... Hmm. So I guess somehow the spring actually hits the block, or do we gotta... Okay, let me actually wait for the wiggler. The wiggler might actually play a part in this. Wait, do I throw this up? No. So we do... Oh, what? Oh, I didn't even realize, like, was that a bug? Oh, it is a bug, because the thing got... Okay, that makes more sense. I was over complicating that, so... That was actually a pretty nice, short, and sweet level. I'm not familiar with, like, the tricks and glitches and whatnot that you can do. So I'm sitting here like, oh, you know, this has got to be some overly complicated thing. Let me actually see. The world record is 9. I want to get a world record on this. I probably won't. Okay, so I did it as quickly as I could, and I know I did not get 9 seconds. Oh, ooh, we actually, okay, so, I did, it. oh, what, what is, what is that, oh, um, you see that da damp squib. What is that picture? That's not cool. Let's try that one more time. So we got 9.16, okay, so that's, that's actually the fastest time that you can actually get. So that makes sense. So, okay, so at least we tied it. So I did everything correctly. There might be a couple optimizations, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not a task. So let's uh let's do the next level. Yeah, I like that. That's actually a really cool level. That's going to get patched probably, but you know, cool nonetheless. Okay, so here's another course by the same person, Launcher Launcher. So 75% clear rate. Right? And this is a short and sweet theme. So let's, uh, this might be the last one, so let's just go ahead and do it. So the world record is three sec. is that three seconds? I believe that was actually three seconds. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if it, well, actually didn't say puzzles. Okay, so it's a night, uh, night snow theme, which means slippery. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you, c you can't slide in this game. Okay, I was, I was confused. So I see the, what is, is that the flag? pole or hmm okay so we got those vfx oh i didn't see i <laughs> well wait okay uh let's actually do that again i had no idea what i was doing so the first one i guess kind of works right there's really not a lot to it i have no idea how that doesn't kill you maybe because it's a slope okay so we got that so we do this oh and then I believe the end is right, okay, right there. So uh, there's no way that I got even close to world record, but <laughs> I don't know when this uh, started turning into me having to get the world record, but it's cool, cool idea. So yeah, three seconds, oh God. 
how much of like a speedrunner do you have to be to do that? I don't even know if I did that correctly. I probably didn't. But uh, let's do another one because that one was really short. These might be a series of like really, really short levels. So let's just, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, uh, so I tried to type this uh, level ID in and it doesn't actually give me a result. So I either wrote this down wrong or the course is actually deleted for whatever reason. So let's actually go on. Let's, uh, let's see what we have in store. Okay, so we got Super Ball Sniper by Melly20XX. So it's puzzle solving and themed. He uses the Super Ball power up to defeat all enemies. So I've actually never uh, messed with the Super Ball power up, so this is going to be cool. Hello, phone. So let's see how this goes. Seems to be the Super Mario Bros. theme. Okay, reach the goal after defeating all seven Koopas. So it's a puzzle involving getting. The okay. So this is, this is an interesting power-up, it really is. You can only have one ball on the screen, and I've never actually used this power-up. So the ball appears to bounce infinitely. There's a key inside this. Okay, awesome idea and short level, something about dying. Easy, okay. So let's see how this goes, right? Okay, so there's that. So this seems simple, you do that. Okay, so we got the key. So these kinds of levels I really do like. So we gotta kill seven Koopas. Okay, so there's one Koopa here. Oh geez, you see this? Like this like maze of shenanigans we got here. This is actually Well, I killed the Koopa by completing Okay, don't jump, that makes a lot of sense. Don't jump. Okay, so you can only Okay, the ball does appear, it makes sense. So we killed the Goomba. I have no idea how I'm doing what I'm doing, by the way. It's uh it's kind of just working. Okay, should have bumpers here, no, something about- Oh, it's one of these, huh? The- Oh, I killed the wrong Koopa, but I got a Koopa, so there's three Koopas here. So, it doesn't seem as though the color of Koopa actually matters, because it shows green Koopas, so, you know, it's like, oh, you gotta kill the green Koopas, but... Okay, how does this work? So, we gotta run, right? And then we do that- oh, well, <laughs> well that's not exactly what I wanted. So, kill you, there we go, we got him. And we got a couple more Koopas, so let's go. This is actually a fun level, like, I really do like this concept. Like, I could never make levels like this, like, these are, these are so cool, like, r well thought out. Like, it's so, like, such a good idea. Actually, let's, uh, let's try to do this tricky, right? Sneak, sneakily, oh, oops. Okay, don't jump. Th wait, th something about this needs fixing. Maybe he's talking about, oh, if you jump, you're, you're screwed. Which I guess... Oh, you can shoot through the platform, can you? Wait, can you? I think you can. Which I, I wasn't aware that you could shoot through the platform, my bad. So one more Koopa. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so I assume this doesn't work. Because that's not an... Okay, yeah, that's not an opening. Okay, I see how this works. Okay, uh, shoots... I know where to shoot it. We gotta shoot it in between the cannon. But it's gotta be about right here, right? Yeah. And there we go. Okay, that's actually a really cool level. So, let's see. Is this the end? Hearts. Oh, I didn't realize that was a moving block. Let's, uh, let's get the uh, top. Just because we have to, right? We worked so hard, we need to get the top. Broken heart. Okay, oh, <laughs> well, never mind then. Momentum carried me forward. So that was actually a pretty cool level. Like, I really do like levels that are like that. So I, if I could, I would heart this level five times over, five billion times. I'll need $58 an hour to fix that. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we did that poorly in terms of time. So good stuff. Love the idea. Please try my courses too. No, maybe, maybe one day. So, Super Mario Sunshine Sandbird. I actually really liked Sandbird in Mario Sunshine. So, collect all the red coins on the back of the legendary Sandbird. You knew this was going to be made, eventually. So, let's try it out. Let's see how good it actually is. I have no idea what that guy's me is. Looked like he had chicken on his head. Or something. That's not chicken, but that's, uh, weird stuff. Okay, GameCube. Thanks. So, uh, there's actually a different music playing right now, right? I can't really hear it. N nope. Oh, uh, freaking uh, 
the Mario Sunshine music's actually playing. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, I didn't know that was one of the music tracks that you could choose from. That's cool. Okay, Fire Flower. If I could grab it. Eh. Someone put a level code. This unique puzzle level has zero plays. I didn't know- oh, that's kind of bad that people can do that. You know, people are just, uh, <laughs> advertising their own levels. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, so when does this- okay, here's a sandbird. Oh my- dude, that's so good! Like, this is- this is actually my favorite level on this game so far. Okay, so apparently there's red coins. Oh, dude, this is so good. I didn't- I didn't know it was gonna be, like, moving like this. I thought it was just going to be a, uh, well, I messed that up. Let me restart really quick. So, the sun is there. Can you somehow kill the sun with fireballs? I highly doubt it. But you can't- you gotta kinda try anyway, right? Okay, so it seems like you could very easily be squished. So let's be on here, cause something tells me- yeah, there's coins up here. So, okay, so there's Frisk. I don't know what Frisk is doing here. So we got three coins, we need two more. There's one more there. Well, one- I don't need one there. I don't know what I just said. So the sun is kind of a nice touch. Well, it kind of makes this more... Not challenging. Well, I mean, it's supposed to add challenge, but it's like... It's not relaxing, right? Wait, is the... Is the thing down there? There's something down there. Or do we gotta keep going? Okay, there's something here. Jump. Okay, there's the last red coin. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay, it doesn't stop, right? It just keeps going. There we go. Okay, so is this the end or is there more stuff? I, I really do want to see it. Okay, that was good. That was actually really cool. I got flower. <laughs> wow. Good idea. So, chorus clear. So, if someone did that in 40 seconds. That was, like, uh, dude, I, how much time did that take you to make? Because you had to, like, you had to, like, I don't know how you would do that. Like, how do you time the block so that they fly in a specific pattern? Is that just, uh, does it do that automatically? Or do you gotta, like, mess around until it actually works? There was a weird picture of a demon bird. I don't know what that was. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, definitely getting a favorite from me. How do I... Can, can, how do you favorite levels? Well, actually, I can go just I can just go back in the level and do that. But anyway, I'm gonna stop the video here, guys. So, really, really good levels. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This is my favorite level in the game, just because anything Mario Sunshine related is just really, really good. I really do like it, and it has a lot of clears and over a thousand comments. So, uh, well, I mean, 10k comments. So, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I almost bump my thing but uh off the desk but uh, yeah if you want to send some levels just put them in the description they don't have to be made by you you can just uh put someone else's levels if you really want me to play them and think they're cool so uh gonna stop the video now awkward intro or awkward outro goodbye most awkward outro i could come up with